Hey guys, Brandon here again. Just wanted to go over what types of baits me and Jake use in the early spring to basically from the spot from the pre-spawn all the way to the post-spawn. And this technique has worked for us for quite a few years now. And all we do basically is we either Texas rig or wacky rig this bait and it's called the Cinco. And I got a ton of these because we use them so much and I'm just I'm all stocked up for next spring. And what they are, they're just uh, this 5 inch Gary Yamamoto baits and we also use the Yum Dingers too because those work also and they're quite a bit cheaper and more durable but what we do with this is we just grab like a like a 2 aught hook size hook anywhere from a 2 aught to a 3 aught hook for either Texas rigging it or wacky rigging it and I like using these hooks better I'd like I want to get thicker ones because what happens is I set that hook so hard I'm because I'm always used to always, I'm a hard hook setter all the time. That's all I've ever done. So I'd like to get the thicker size hooks because I set the hook so hard so it just rips right through the fish's mouth. But what we do is we just basically do it weightless and then you just stick the hook right in the middle of the bait like that. And then the other way is Texas rigged. And I mainly use a 3 out size hook and then just do that weightless because it has that the good really good fall and it just falls kind of like this and where we like to fish this is along like the because in the spring all the weeds are all dead so we mainly throw it along the edges of those dead weeds and in them because the bass like sitting in that the the pencil weeds because they're dead and they're they actually look like very good cover for them to sit in and then mainly just docks and off or offshore stuff we mainly just cast it in there and I like to, I like to use either it depends on what type of cover I'm in. Mainly in the spring I use a spinning rod and reel, but later in the year I like to use a bait cast reel with probably about 20 pound uh, line on there, just like a small bait cast reel, not like a heavy one, probably a low profile. And then I just like using that because I have more power with the fish. But mainly I'm gonna hopefully get a nice. Uh, new spinning rod and reel this year because my spinning reel broke this year I don't know what happened with it it just it doesn't reel anymore really well so I'll hopefully get a new one of those but how you rig this is I have it set up now you just bring the hook up to there here I'll start over for you so you just put the hook in just a simple Texas rig and you just hook it through like that and then you go all the way up to the top until you come out like that and then you just stick it right towards kind of in the middle of the bait right in here and then you just come out just like that and then you skin hook it just like that perfectly straight and that's gonna catch you a lot of bass in the springtime and and kind of in the start of the summer it really it really really slows down in the summer because the water gets warmer and they don't they're not in the open areas as much anymore they like going into the thicker stuff and that's when we flip flip our craws and everything creature baits and then we go to the we, we cast uh, square bill crank baits off the pencil weed lines and just weed lines and everything and off of like points and uh, offshore structure that we found before and points and everything so that's what we basically use for that and that's just a really good spring technique. I mean, it's worked for us for many years. I mean, it, it's just a easy, simple technique that works good. So, hope you try it out next spring, and I'll get back to you guys with some more fish. See you later.